not very long after that, I, I received a huge grace. I would say probably the biggest grace I've ever received in my life. Uh, I was in a car. I was not taking any hallucinogenic drugs or anything like that. I was in an SUV. So like I was in the back of the SUV and I was there with my friends. We were just talking and I looked into the, the window and I saw my own face. I saw my own face. And I was, I had this like tormented look uh, and I like kind of like looked away. I was like, that's weird. And, and then I started to see like all these other faces, like all around my, myself, they all had like, like this tormented look on their face. And I had my hand kind of like outstretched like this, trying to get out. And on the other side of the window, there was a cloud. And from that cloud, there was a hand that was coming down and the two hands were like this. It was like, they, they didn't, they didn't touch. And I heard a voice that said, you are falling short of the glory of God. And I knew that like in that moment, if I would have died, I would have gone straight to hell. Wow. Straight conviction. Hell. Yeah. Like I, no one had to like explain to me like this. It was just like a conviction that if I died right now, I'm going straight to hell. And I didn't say anything to my friends. They probably would have thought I was nuts. I went home wow. and either the next day or like the next few days I changed a picture on my laptop. I had like a, a football team. I changed it to Jesus Christ crucified. And when I saw the crucifix, like I, I just fell to my knees and I started bawling like a little baby. All I could say for like 15 minutes straight was please God, forgive me, please God, forgive me. And I saw all my sins, everything I like all this stuff I had done wrong, all the horrible things I had done. Please God, forgive me crying. And then I started to say, please God, forgive them. Because I started to think about my little brothers and sisters. I'm the oldest of five. I have four, two younger brothers and two younger sisters that had seen me do some. I was not being a good role model for them at all. You know, I never considered myself a drug dealer, but I started buying drugs and then like, well, I'll just buy more and then I'll just sell that to my friends and then I'll keep some. And then that kind of gets bigger. And then I had friends that lived in Miami that had started to say like, you know, we could bring you like kilos of, of just like of weed up. And I never really thought like, oh, that's, that's a felony. Like you get in a lot of trouble for that. I was just kind of like going like what, with what was happening. And so this is about the time like God kind of like steps in. So I was going out, getting drunk uh, almost every night and starting to sell a little bit. I saw all my sins, everything I like, all this stuff I had done wrong, all the horrible things I had done. Please God, forgive me crying. And then I started to say, please God, forgive them. Because I started to think about my little brothers and sisters. I'm the oldest of five. I have four, two younger brothers and two younger sisters that had seen me do some. I was not being a good role model for them at all. So like, I, I started to see like the consequences of my actions. It was like God was showing me that my sins were hurting other people. I hurt a lot of people. And, but at the same time, like seeing that I had crucified Jesus, that was another thing too. No one explained to me that, that my sins had crucified Jesus Christ. It wasn't like, oh, I just broke a rule. I broke the sixth commandment. I broke the seventh commandment that I had crucified Jesus with my sins. And at the same time, I felt his love. Like that, that even like in spite of my sins, he loved me. And then I kind of just like, I remember like kind of coming back into myself. I stopped crying. And I was like, whoa. And I felt an inc like this peace that just like filled me completely. And I had joy. I remember just like walking around my giddy. And they all like just like outside of yourself, just like, you know, happy. And just like when they talk about, oh, like you, you there's like a weight that's taken off your shoulders. I felt that. I felt like, like I was almost like floating, like the, the peace that I had in that moment. And so... I would say that was, that was the moment in which I felt like our Lord like broke, helped me to break away from sin. So like, I knew like, I do not want to go back to the party scene. Like I've experienced Jesus Christ. I know, I know him as like my savior and I don't want to, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't, I, I stopped hanging out with my old friends. Um, I'm not saying I was like perfect from that moment. I'm not like a saint by any means, but from that moment on, like I knew I only can seek Jesus Christ 